<laughs> Aunt Lizzie done in the Rev. and Leroy. Huh? <laughs> Stoney, welcome to Country Music Time. <coughs> Thank you very much. Appreciate it's a it. pleasure to have you here. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. You're, you you uh, hail from the booming metropolis of Seminole, Oklahoma. Yes, yes. I was born there. I was raised everywhere, I think. <laughs> You've been around then, uh, from the days in the farm in uh, Oklahoma. You tell me that you moved to California and uh, worked every every imaginable kind of job there, huh? Yeah, I did. I did uh, janitor work. Uh, I worked in the shipyard a lot, and I was a pipe fitter and machinist and crane operator. Crane operator was uh, what I really got into. But did you still moonlight in, in music during this time? Yeah, I did. I was. Uh, I took a lot of detours, but I would always come back to uh, writing and uh, singing. You know. Sounds to me like you've led the typical type of life that would be really great for experiencing the things that you hear in so many country songs, the hard knocks. Well, yeah, I had all that, uh, like most artists, I guess. Just had a lot of the hard knocks, uh, getting to where they are in country music, and I think basically doing what they want to do, uh, going around about way to do it, they would always come back to what they was working for, and mm -hmm. I always felt like someday, I never dreamed that I would be on the Grand Ole Opry. I always wanted to, but I never really thought I would. And uh, but I always worked in that direction so if I ever did uh, I'd be prepared for it I guess that's well how did that come about young fellow in California by the name of Ray Sweeney we got together and he took me to Capitol Records and we did uh, I think I did two songs uh, I had two songs out and uh, I was asked to come on the Opry hmm. that and, must have been uh, a thrill for you oh it really was I thought it was all over when I got on because it was in my mind to do the Opry bad once I did it I drove all the way from California to come to Nashville when I got here, and I did the Grand Ole Opry. I left and went back home, and all the way there I was saying, well, I did it, you know. I did now it. what, right? Now, yeah, well, I knew what. I was going back to work. Uh, it was all over as far as I was concerned. Yeah. And then I got a call from Capitol Records, said, no, I said, you just start. <laughs> Is that right? Well, now you're touring and uh, recording. Um, that touring is not an easy thing to do, is it? No, it's not. Uh, I don't mind the uh, shows. It's the getting there. You know, you, you do a 45-minute show, and it takes you two days to get there to do it. And during that time, you know, the traveling time, it just really wears you out. Mm. You know? Well, at the time that we're recording this program right now, you have a, a song on the Billboard charts and Cashbox as yeah, well. Yeah, Record World. It's in all of them. Call No Way to Drown the Memory. All right, let's hear it. 